Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Welcome by this blooming update for the month of uh, August. Already time uh, flies and I've been very busy but uh, I uh, luckily found time to make this video uh, on time because we have a few days left in August of course. But uh, yeah the blooming update. So let's start with this one. Isn't this one beautiful? I never had an Oncidium that was blooming so well for me. Since I changed um, the uh, area where I grow them, I had them in the orchid. Uh, and, uh, I'm sorry, in the greenhouse, where it's way warmer in summer, and way uh, more light. I changed that. We are now in the orchid room, where it's a little bit darker, a little less light. It's a little bit cooler, and they are blooming like never before. So I think I found a problem. And I hope my Oncidiums will do better, but uh, yeah, it's absolutely a beauty. So this is the first reasonable rebloom for an Oncidium dancing lady type for me. Absolutely beautiful. So then over here we have one that's just starting to bloom with this spike, but you can see in the back there are more coming. This is one that I found. It was the first visit to Landsbergen. I found this one absolutely beautiful. At least, if you ask me, I really like the lip, that white and yellow. So yeah, this one is doing very well. And up, up here we have another bloom on this Pinocchio Alba. I'm sorry for the backlight. Let me see if I can change it a little bit. I hope you can see it, but this is the Alba version. And you can see more buds on the way, so this will be in bloom for quite a while, I, uh, I uh, guess. <laughs> so then, uh, above this beautiful yellow Oncidium, we have this one just starting to open up. And I really like that very nice deep red with that orange and a bit of yellow mixed in there. I really enjoyed this. this. This area is a little bit more yellow, but the rest is more a w very warm orange, which I personally very much like. So next to it, we have this beautiful purple one, which is doing a little bit strange things. That spike is growing over to that side, but we have here and I can show it a bit better, I hope. It's absolutely beautiful one. The flowers are fairly large, not incredibly large. Let me see if I can get this spike in as well. So, and there are two more spikes to come. Here we have a spike and here in the back, another one. So it's a fairly uh, big plant, I think. It's really growing, uh, growing very well. And I like them when they start to get a really specimen size with several bloom spikes. I think that's the best there is. <laughs> so I always try to uh, grow my plants as big as I can. Not always working, of course, but for these two guys, I think uh, we are on the right track. <laughs> then we have this one. This is a uh, orchid uh, from the Inca orchids. And it's getting some sunlight, as you can see on the blooms, which makes it pop even a little bit more. But can you see the shape of it and the colors? Very beautiful. Very beautiful. So, and then up here, this one had, has a very, very long spike, as you can see. The plant is way up here. I never had such a big spike on this one. Beautiful yellow and red blooms. Absolutely stunning. But once again, a very large spike. And you see that red one in the back as well. It has also a very large spike. It's a bit heavier because the blooms are a bit bigger. They are a little bit shaped to the back, the sepals and the petals, as you can see. That's, so I have to pull them a little bit forward to uh, to show them a bit better on camera. So that's, that's something I not so like, but yeah, what to do. The blooms itself are very pretty, I think. Uh, let me check. I, 
trying to work with the light here. <laughs> yeah, I think it's beautiful. Beautiful. There we go. Those two beautiful orchids there. Then over here, down here, we have my Sturbic with two beautiful spikes, also an Inca orchid. One I really enjoy growing as well. It's not hard to grow, very easy. It blooms very easily, I think. This one is always working on spikes, blooms, new growths. There's a spike here coming, as you can see, and a new growth in the back. So yeah, it's always uh, always uh, blooming and doing very well. And so you probably saw them in the background already, but can you see? I have all three Nelly Eilers in bloom at the same time. So this is the regular Swiss Beauty, uh, Red Velvet, I believe it's called, or Deep Velvet, something like that, and the orange one. And can you see how long the spikes are? This is the first time that I have a that I have reasonable Nelly Eiler spikes. It always was these teeny tiny spikes. They did bloom, but nowadays I get way, way longer spikes. And that's because I did put them closer to the window, so they got a little bit more direct uh, light, filtered sunlight, and it works. It works very very well. So let's uh, try to zoom in a little bit. So yeah, and the fragrance, you guys. I love the fragrance. I posted these guys on uh, on my Facebook group in the Netherlands, <laughs> and most of them do not enjoy this, the fragrance of these uh, Nelly Alice. I personally do. I really enjoy them. Look at that, beautiful. So you can imagine with these spikes all open. This this one has only uh, one spike, but this one has one two three four five six working on six and three open and this one so you can imagine that we have quite some uh, fragrance here so yeah luckily i do like it this is the orange version so and even this one is working on a another spike here in the back so yeah, they do way better than before. So it really works, the extra little bit of light. Very, very beautiful. So let's get over to this side because this Miltoniopsis is still in bloom. Can you believe it? You can now see that this one is starting to fade a little bit. You probably can see if you compare it with this one and that one. This is way brighter there, but I think this is the third time that I film it in a blooming update. I'm not completely sure, but at least two times. So this is, this is the third or fourth time. And yeah, this one was in bloom for quite a while. Beautiful. I think it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. As you might know, but these are my favorite blooms. Absolutely beautiful. So and then up here I have a odontoglossum type orchid again in bloom. You see this uh, on a regular basis, I think, because this one is li really likes to bloom as well. So so if you see something and you would like to know the name, please let me know. I can give you the name. But it's quite a bit of work every time getting the name tags out. And to be honest, some have quite some roots in there. So I keep pu pulling them back and, and damaging the roots. So I stopped doing that. I hope you don't mind, but that's the reason. So, uh, but yeah, I, th I thought if you uh, really want to know, you can, uh, can ask and I will give you the name. And we have this Maxillaria in bloom. This is Maxillaria Black Velvet. But to be honest, I would expect the blooms to be a little bit darker, but yeah, I've never grown a black velvet before. <laughs> so I'm not sure, but it's just a feeling. But I probably is right, but
really nice shape I think the maxillarias have in their blooms so that's uh, here we have quite some spikes going on but that's for another video of course this is a blooming update <laughs> so let's uh, get over to the greenhouse so and there we are in the greenhouse this is a Bellina green crossed with uh, another plant without a name <laughs> but it's beautiful I think so uh, I thought this would be a nice shot to start with and I still have quite a, quite a few of my fells blooming the Odoro this is putting up quite a nice fragrance it's a very nice bright day and then we have this freebie over here that it did get it's, I really enjoy growing as well and here are the butterflies so this one has, still has a uh, bloom left you may have seen my uh, repotting video and these guys did have blooms as well so it did, uh, did continue to bloom it has a bit of a strange stripe there going on let's see now but I think it's not really a problem a virus or anything but then down here we have this epidendrum still blooming oops I'm sorry and that might have a little bit of thrip damage as you can, whoops I'm sorry as you can see those lines there just above my finger on the edge of the sepals and petals that's a sign that we have thrips so I need to spray it obviously this one is still blooming it has quite a bloom for a very long time as you can see <laughs> as is this beautiful uh, orange one with four spikes and then I have a little bit of deeper orange one over there and then down here we have a Cattleya that I did get from my last haul from Landsbergen it's this one blooming with two buds and that's okay because it doesn't have a great root system yes it's the root system yet because it's adapting still but it's getting there so therefore uh, it could have probably a little bit more blooms in the future but for now these two are okay because otherwise it cannot keep up with the energy and while we add it <laughs> you might remember this one from uh, my carnivore uh, video that I did I'm just only going to show this one this one was uh, covered in the scale but to me it seems very uh, clean now and you can see it really is growing and it has two blooms and one a third one coming over here as you can see but those blooms are so strange so I thought well let's take this opportunity to try to film these guys such a strange shape these guys have <laughs> so yeah I hope you can see them a bit <laughs> from different angles but yeah so I think the plant is really is uh, getting it straight strength back so yeah back to the orchids I'm sorry but just wanted to show you because I know nowadays that there are a few people that like the carnival plants as well as, as I do so therefore I'm showing them to you and then we have this Cattleya which yeah is almost on the way out it's been blooming for quite a few weeks now so it is this one is very easy to show it's the blc golden tang hr first time bloomer for me but yeah i think uh, i think i do like these blooms and especially that lip beautiful I think so yeah I'm very happy with this one blooming over here we have my uh, golden peacock still blooming a beautiful bright orange I never had so many blooms on this one before two spikes but we have branches and you can see probably the nice healthy green color on this one so this one is really uh, getting back its uh, strength as well So 
So, and then just have a over view on uh, the fells that are still in bloom over here. And I don't know if you can see it, but we have spikes coming. So I have blooms all year round now these days. That's new for me. <laughs> I didn't have that happen when I grew them in a home, but here in the greenhouse they uh, keep on blooming and I keep on enjoying them. Beautiful these clusters, aren't these? I think they are. <laughs> really beautiful. I really like this one as well. It's a bright colors. This big lip. And then a purple one there. So I'm gonna slowly turn and turn and turn and turn because I didn't film my van as well. This one is uh, obviously uh, going over. <laughs> But my yellow one is still blooming. This is the third, third spike this year. I really love this one. Such beautiful colors. This one is really, really happy. Now I have them in their faces again. It's working on three keikis. One fairly big one, as you can see here. And it's just starting two new ones on the stem. And then we have this white one. And these are going over as well. It's not as bright anymore, but yesterday I saw it when I put the water in the vases that it's already starting a new spike. So yeah, we will have Vanda blooms for a, for a while, like I think. But look at that, it's beautiful, right? Such a strong one, this yellow one. It's crazy. <laughs> I love it. So, um, did I miss something here? No, don't think so. Well, let's get over to this side and let's start with my dendrobium phenoliopsis because well actually let's start with this one this is a sherry baby type a red uh, ruby doll i really like uh, the blooms on this one it's a fairly uh, young uh, plant but it's growing it's growing it's growing so yeah we have some spikes here on the those dendrobium phenoliopsis but no blooms yet so let's go to this one and you probably recognize it if you are uh, having a few den files you know that they probably know that this is the uh, thailand black it's a commercial name but uh, a lot of people use those names because we don't need uh, know the uh, exact names <laughs> and the commercial names will do because you will find it if you uh, type in dendrobium phenoliopsis thailand black you will see this one for sure <laughs> next to it we have the uh, polar fire in bloom also a beautiful spike this one was uh, one of the first this year to bloom so it has some damages there but i think that's because the uh, flowers are quite quite old already probably because of the high immunity that i have even in these warm days at night i had a quite a, a high uh, immunity and that may leave some marks as well i'm not completely sure you can see this one i'm really looking forward to this one that's the first time bloomer anyhow anyhow moving on <laughs> this one is also beautiful that green and that pink i hope this shows up in the camera very well and a splash and a green splash i'm sorry you have the Anna Green I have as well. Same colors, bit of different. Uh, that, that one only has green, uh, has a purple, only a purple uh, lip and the rest is green. And this one has the splash with purple here and there. And then next to it, we have this pink one, which I even don't know the commercial name of. But look at that. Beautiful, it's such a beauty. This one is so happy to bloom every year. And yes, those two spikes you see there is also coming from the same plant. So yeah, this one is uh, really, really happy. Okay, let's see over here. We have a brushia type blooming here. Let me check. also very beautiful but 
I must admit the blooms normally are a little bit bigger, so this one really, really, really needs a repot. It's really climbing out of the pot, so I need to uh, do something about it. Then we are at my Miltoni yeah, section, and this one is also such a beauty. I'm gonna show the tag for this one. You probably wanna know. So, here's the tag. I bought these, this one as a seedling, so you can imagine that I'm so happy to see this. It was correctly labeled, and the first time that I saw this cross, it was on the Rogers channel, and I was completely in love with it because it's so beautiful. So I found it only as a seedling, and I thought, yeah, we'll see. And I think it's about two or three years ago. And now I'm finally enjoying the blooms. The two spikes here and another one coming over there. So that's beautiful. In that same order, I did order these guys. These are two plants out of one pot. And this one is a little bit stuck here. Let me try to open it up a little bit. Yes, there it is. And I need to check. This is a uh, Miltonia Angela Barker. And that one in the back is also blooming, as you can see. Like I said, same order, so I had to wait. But this year, those two decided to bloom for me. <laughs> those remind me of the sunset. It's not that different, only the shape of the sepals and petals. And the lip is obviously a bit smaller. But this bloom, I must admit, this bloom in the back is, a, is bigger than the one we just saw. So yeah, it's not that different from the sunset. But still uh, beautiful, I think. Then down here we have that beautiful purple one. It's very beautiful, I think. And another spike over here. So yeah, that one is doing very well. Then over here we have this purple. Brassia Miltasia type. It's a blooming. So these are the fairly fresh and these guys are starting to fade as you can see. But the color difference isn't it? So let me see. Yeah you can now you can see probably I think the difference in colors. But yeah I really enjoy growing this one as well. And there this is the same plant but underneath there and in between whoops I'm sorry is my uh, Miltonia Ragnellii hybrid and you probably see the aphids on there so I did have to spray it and it was very warm so I think it did, didn't bloom as long as normally because of the heat this one is just freshly open freshly open I'm sorry I really uh, love this one as well it's a very big plant it's all one plant over here <laughs> then we have another miltonia um, oh, Cloacea, i'm sorry cloveciae miltonia cloveciae is such a different shape but i really love it beautiful i think those colors are so deep and rich best spikes of farm you can see also this one is going over but they open up very slowly so that's why uh, one is already dropping and the rest needs to uh, to open up you can see the buds over here are still very small but yeah it's well worth it the weight flavesense over here some are going over some are still fairly fresh I love it. I really do. And then up here we have those two Morianas. All those purple dots. <laughs> Let me show it up close. I have the roy royalty version. Mariana royalty something. So yeah. Beautiful. The blooms are very silky, I think. 
very soft and uh, smooth, which I really, uh, really like the look of. So it reminds me of silk. And then we have this one. So yeah, this one has quite some spikes and beautiful little blooms. But I must admit, I think it's the heat as well. This one is doesn't take it as good. So you can see it's really uh, starting to suffer. So yeah, I probably should cut them off, but I enjoy them so much. <laughs> Then the sea breeze is also getting over now, I think. Let me see, can I find a bit? Yeah, maybe. This one, I think this one, well actually the, the Bartley Schwartz White next to it was the first one to open up these blooms for this season. Uh, and this was the second Miltonia, so therefore it's now where it's now going over. The rest op did open uh, later. Uh, oh, I'm almost forget. Look at this, and the sunlight is catching it very beautiful. Festiva, Miltonia Festiva. Also a beauty. I really enjoy my Miltonias <laughs> and my Sotuanum. Already has some blooms going over, but in the back those are all fresh spikes that I still need to. Uh, to bloom so we have quite something uh, to watch forward to and we also have some blooms already here beautiful right my one and it's working on new growths so yeah it's doing fairly well I think quite some spikes but luckily it has the room to grow those spikes <laughs> around it as you can see so slowly moving around, just to see if I did forget something that's in bloom. We have some quite some spikes coming. Brush your tabs, yeah, look at this. Here, I always forget something. This is also a Dendrobium phenoliopsis. That's my biggest one, the Spring Eclipse. Still in bloom. Still in bloom and it's on the floor because of that stem. Yes, it's this one. It's crazy big, so it doesn't fit on the shelf anymore. <laughs> it's a dead one. I almost did forget. Just a quick look around. Yes, another one that I did forget. You see here. Uh, this is the uh, yellow birds. And um, it did suffer also a little bit from the heat, I think. But it has two beautiful blooms still on there. The yellow birds. The one that I did uh, buy from Anna Maria. Miracle, Ar Miracle Orchids. So it's doing very well. Really growing very nicely. Okay, that one we did find in time. Did I forget more? No, I think we are okay. Some fails here. So yeah, I think uh, I did cover them all for this video. So as usual, of course, thank you so much for watching. And as usual, <laughs> if you have any questions or suggestions, please let, uh, let me know. Uh, I've been very busy, so that's why I didn't upload as much as before. I just go with the flow and I will see. I will try to uh, upload as much as I can. And also that reminds me of um, the questions. I try to answer them as quickly as I can. So sometimes you may have to wait a little bit, bit a few days, but uh, I will, uh, will be uh, back because I really enjoy filming this and I hope you do too. So once again, thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.